folks, welcome back to our coverage from the Gamma Trade Show 2015. It's exciting here. We have Anton from Fantasy Flight Games. How's it going, Tom? It's really going good. Now, yesterday, yes. you guys announced a whole pile of different things. Yes, we did. Much of it Star Wars. There was a there were a, a large number of Star Wars announcements. Yes. For me, the biggest announcement was the fact that the license for Star Wars is extended. That is that is correct. And includes the movie that's coming out this year. That 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 was mentioned yesterday. Yes, it was. So now that's really exciting. <laughs> so that's that, that's kind of generalistic, but it's a good like for people who follow the different lines, mm -hmm. they can now be secure. Absolutely. So I know we know the question had been asked. And uh, and, there, and 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 it, the success of X-wing and the number of people that are actually playing and enjoying these games, they began to consider. Well, what happens when the license runs out? Does it going to run out? What what? Ha so Christian just wanted to get up and definitively definitively state that all is well and that we have renewed and you can enjoy these games for years to come. And uh, we can't wait to show you what else we've been working on. Yeah, but that means we're going to be watching a new movie, sitting there going. Ooh, that would make a good <laughs> game piece or something. Mm, uh, yeah, I can't. I just want to see the movie. I'm. Uh, we are all excited. And then he also mentioned an expansion for Imperial Assault. Correct. So Imperial Assault exploded out of the gate. It's one of the best launches we have ever had, I, I, if not the the uh, the largest launch we have ever had. And uh, Christian yesterday announced the Twin Shadows expansion. It's the first expansion for Imperial Assault. It uh, includes ten figures in the box, uh, including two new heroes. Tuscan Raider figures, which uh, we'll have, sh they're amazing, they're, they're, you'll see them in the booth, some heavy stormtroopers, and then a wave of ally and villain packs. Um, and this particular box also has a mini campaign, has a whole bunch of new materials for skirmish mode, um, and alongside the release, the ally and villain packs will bring C-3PO and R2-D2 into the mix if you choose to buy those uh, expansions. Boba Fett has made an appearance. And, uh, and a uh, Stormtrooper villain, a, a classic villain, uh, 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 Kane Samos, that you can see. Um, it's all tremendously cool. And we'll, we'll be showing it at the booth as well, so that you might get pictures in, uh, in our booth on display. All right, so that's, and that's not, we also heard about Armada. Absolutely. Way, so Armada's about to be released probably by the time you're watching this. It may even be out uh, in the stores, and now we're talking about the second wave. And Correct. One of the most exciting things is the best ship in Star Wars canon, which is the Imperial Star Destroyer. The Imperial Star Destroyer. So uh, from day one, people have asked, what are the ships? What are the ships? And they looked at the Star Destroyer, which was the Victory class, and said, nah, it's not the Imperial Star Destroyer. Anyone who has seen Star Wars knows what you see right in the open after the opening crawl, uh, what, what looms over your head. And finally, in Wave 2, we're introducing the Imperial Star Destroyer. But we're also bringing the Home 1, the Mon Calamari ships, are entering uh, the fight for the Rebels. So you've got the Home 1, which is their largest a ship that, that, that uh, you saw in Return of the Jedi. Um, there's a frigate, the MC-30 frigate, which is a smaller uh, ship in their fleet. Um, but uh, we're also bringing the Imperial Raider, which is something that, uh, that is entering the X-Wing game. It's, uh, it's a, a, a smaller Imperial ship that, that we worked in, in concert with LFL to design, and it will show up in Armada as well. Uh, and lastly, a rogues, and Heroes and Rogues pack which means that the Millennium Falcon, the Slave One, and a few other key ships, the IG-2000, are actually going to be on the table. So if you ever wanted to take the Millennium Falcon and a couple of squadrons of X-Wings and fly around the Imperial Star Destroyer as other ships are closing in, it's, you're going to play this on your tabletop. It's going to blow you away. Now, the, all those, are they all coming in one pack? They're coming in a single pack. It'll be eight individual uh, ships. Oh, man. It's, it's amazing. That and then the pilot cards and the crew, crew member cards. We, I, I set this up before we came to Gamma because I enjoy Star Wars and I, I love playing games. So I set up this mock battle and, and it hit me um, what it is that you're going to be able to do on the tabletop. And I, I didn't realize, but I, I've been waiting for this my entire life. It's going to be tremendously fun and the game is great and uh, hopefully you get to play it soon. It'll be out in stores. That's really neat, though, that you guys actually designed a, a ship, in essence, with, with them together. We worked we work together with LFL, right? We wanted something of a particular size class, uh, something that could be uh, brought into the epic play for X-Wing that was on par roughly with the, uh, the Corellian Corvette that we introduced already. So uh, the sh we think the ship is beautiful. It looks like a baby of a Star Destroyer and a, and a TIE fighter. It does, it does. And in the, in, in the, in the canon, uh, in previous stories, there are, there are references to Imperial Raiders, so, so it, it fits, and we think it fits visually. We won't bring a Star Destroyer into X-Wing, but we will bring the Raider into our mind. I thought maybe you could just bring the nose. Yeah. Like a big nose <laughs> piece. Game over. Game over. 
All right, so that's Star Wars. But yes. you guys also announced a brand new game in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Yes, we did. So uh, we also work with Games Workshop. We have for many years. And Forbidden Stars was mentioned, uh, was announced yesterday. And this is in a, a battle of conquest and domination in the 41st millennium. It is for two to four players. It's an asymmetric galactic conquest game. There's a tremendous amount of depth and variety in the game that you can begin to explore on our website. I'm sure that uh, we're actually going to get a chance to play. Yes. It was Later very on. fun, I think. Well, yeah. He has no <laughs> idea yet, but uh, uh, tonight we're going to get a chance to play. You'll, you'll get to play it yourself. But this is a game that has, if, if you love the theme and the lore, the four factions in play are the, the, they're the Space Marines, the Eldar, the Orcs, and Chaos Space Marines. Eldar. The Eldar. They, they play very differently. They all, they all play to the strengths of the faction and the IP, and there's a ton of customizability during gameplay with upgrading units and how, you, how combat works, and you're going to see all this tonight. It's something we've worked on for years, actually. We've labored over this carefully. We finally announced it, and it's ready to go, and this is, I think this is going to blow people away. Uh, this is an epic board game experience in the Warhammer 40,000 universe with beautiful figs. Um, and hopefully you'll see pictures of that as well. <laughs> One of the things I was I was looking over this on the website yeah. when you guys talked about it, it looked like there's a bit of the older game from StarCraft, some of the mechanisms from StarCraft in here. There are well, uh, there are order tokens, right. right? And that's that's a mechanic that you'll see. We've we've also used a similar mechanic in Game of Thrones, right? Uh, you, right. In, there are hidden order tokens. In a, in a particular phase, and then one by one, those are revealed. Um, there is an order stack, and that is something that people have seen previously uh, in StarCraft. But uh, the game, the game is very different. Uh, it is it is also is it also kind of different from the Twilight Imperium? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. uh, I think this is something that that we can't wait to show you more. And there will be information on our website as we reveal more. We're going to talk about the rules and the factions and the, the combat cards. The combat is very unique. It took me a moment to wrap my head around it, and as soon as I, it clicked and I realized what was going on, it, it really is exciting. Um, there's a lot of innovation, a lot of customi uh, customizability, and asymmetric play uh, is glorious. I and when it. will this be out around? This is going to be out late, I believe it is late summer at this point. So we'll, we might see that Gen Con? I sure hope so. All right. I sure hope so. Well, thanks so much for showing us all this stuff. Thank Appreciate you, it. It's so exciting. Um, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.